Hello everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've been posting my swing on Instagram stories and you guys have noticed some big changes and you're dead on. I started working with Jonathan Yarwood. I haven't taken lessons in a very long time and with the match that I had against John Daly, well, it was then Jerry Kelly. <laughs> you guys can go back and watch the whole recap on that. I wanted to get my game in a better spot. I've always struggled a little bit with my ball striking. I think it's because of just the way my body is and I could never really get on plane and in the right positions. And so Jonathan really talked me through it in a way that just clicked for me. And that's the biggest thing when you are trying to find a new golf instructor. It's not that maybe one is better than the other, it's just sometimes they explain it in a way that just clicks and it makes sense. And that's what happened with Jonathan. So I want to walk you through some of the new swing changes that I've been working on and how it has helped me become a better ball striker. So the first change that we made was my grip. So I had my left hand and my right hand were too far separated and I had too much of a strong grip. So what we did is we brought my right hand up and it almost feels as if it's on my left hand. As you know, grip changes can be quite uncomfortable. And so I just brought it up and that was the first change that we made. And he said that it was one of the most important changes because if your grip setup ball position is off, then you can't get in the right position. So we just brought my right hand up to my left hand. The next thing that we worked on was my arm position. So I talked about this before, but he just confirmed that this was exactly what I should be doing with having a larger chest. So I was getting too far on the left side of my left breast. And so when I was taking it back, I had to like move it out of the way to get it in position. And so my grip hand was coming out and around and inside and then crossed at the top. And so what we did is we lay this arm on top and then we bend the elbow. But when we bend it, it's not like tucked in. It's almost like it has a bend outward and this is actually going to help me with my takeaway which I'll talk about next. So again over the top on the left side bend slightly outward on the right arm. Next we're going to talk about the takeaway and this was the biggest change for me. So I have always struggled with my takeaway by coming out and in, and then I get a little cross at the top, which means then I come over the top. So what we decided to do is grip and the setup really helped. But what Jonathan said is that when you take it back, I wouldn't move my hips at all. And so my hips would stop and then my arms would go out. So we wanted to get the hips to move first and the drill that I always do really helped where you push the ball back and as you do that you turn you turn your hips and then this is the biggest game changer for me is I could never get my elbow to bend properly and it's this motion not this motion not this this and so it's a turn and you bend it back and then from there you cock and turn and that's the takeaway. It's as simple and easy as that. And I was always trying to overcomplicate it by bending and trying to do so much, but it really is just like pulling a lawnmower almost. That's the feeling that I have. That's not what he said. Um, but you just turn and move your elbow backwards. And we also worked on shortening my backswing, but that just happened naturally with everything else that we were working on. After we fixed the grip, the setup, and the takeaway, the next thing was my weight transfer.
Next up, we worked on weight transfer and also bringing my club head more on the inside. I know a lot of you struggle with coming over the top and I did as well. It was because my body was turning inwards and so my hands, if you watch my hands, see them just come forward. So to get my hands to drop more from the inside, I have to bump my leg out to have my hands drop to then turn through it. So it's not a backwards motion, it's a bump motion. And so if you're slicing it coming over the top, your hips need to work properly for your club path to come down on the proper plane. I, you also just have to think about it. <laughs> so when you're at the top, I have to feel like I am dropping it so far from the inside. So I try to exaggerate it and I feel like I'm almost like this. You're not actually doing that, but that is the feeling that you have to have. So I really feel like I'm hitting these inside out draws and you want to exaggerate it at first, but the hip motion moving forward gives you room to be able to drop your hands down. And so that's everything that I've been working on. So at the top, nice and slow, bump, drop it down, turn it through. Well, that's not everything, but that is everything that we have worked on so far. And I've seen massive changes and differences in my swing. I wanted something that was more reliable and consistent and, and simple. There were so many times where I'd be on the tee box in fairway and I'm like, I have no idea where this is going. And that's because I had a two way miss from a poor takeaway coming over the top and it would go pull left, sometimes with a closed club face, then it would go left. And then sometimes I would um, come over with an open club face and I'd hit these kind of dinky little fades. And so I was just not really in a great position. And it makes sense because I haven't been taking lessons and I haven't really been grinding on my swing, but I just had this, this goal for this year to play better golf and seeing someone that can connect with you and help you is so incredibly important and again so it's set up grip turn the hips to start the takeaway kind of brush it along the floor bend the elbow keep turning keep turning keep turning sure in the backswing bump the hip drop it down from the inside fire through it a lot of you also noticed that my takeaway was quick and my follow through was slow and so jonathan told me to go like as slow as I possibly can on the backswing, and then I can fire down through it. So now let's put it all together. So that is what I've been working on so far. I can feel, I feel like I can master it with my shorter irons. Longer irons I still struggle with and Jonathan and I really need to work on my driver because since it's a longer club, I get really inside and it's hard for me to make those changes. We also worked on some wedge shots, which I will show you in another video. But if you want to get lessons from Jonathan Yarwood, I will put his information down below. He teaches out of Alpine Country Club in New Jersey. And I also wanna thank Highlands Ranch Golf Club for the amazing facilities and having me out here today so I can really get better at my swing, at my game. And don't forget to leave a comment down below on what you're working on and your swing. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next Thursday.